spiritual vineyard. And the spiritual vineyard that we have, we are not to sell it out to the world. So just as neighbor vineyard was a type of spiritual inheritance. Then every child of God has. And just as the vineyard was bordered by Ahab's palace, so our vineyard is bordered by the world. The vineyard that we have is our spiritual inheritance. And it is bordered by the world, yes, Holy Spirit. Because we see here that Ahab vineyard was borderline to Naboth. And Ahab being so covetous and being so envious, look at Naboth's vineyard and desire to have it. Satan desired to have your spiritual inheritance. There is just a borderline between uh, the world and your inheritance. Let's not think that your spiritual inheritance is a foot or far long away from the world. There is just a borderline between the world and your inheritance. And Satan desired to steal your vineyard, which is your spiritual inheritance. And you may say, what is my spiritual inheritance? My spiritual inheritance is my joy that God gives me. It's my peace. It is my long suffering. It's my patience. It's my temperance that I have in God. And so we see here that Ahab spoke on them and said, give me your vineyard. That I may have it for a garden of herbs because it is near unto my house. And I will give and I will give you for a better vineyard than it, or it may seem good to you, I will give you the word of the money. So you see here now that so Ahab applied pressure to Naboth. Pressure Naboth said to him, give me because I want to plant herbs in your garden. And it is better, it's a better one, I want, it. I want, I want it. And many times the devil pressure us to give up our spiritual inheritance. He commonly made bargains with us that we should give up our vineyard. So we see here now, now, now just as how, you know, um, Ahab, he was a wicked king. He applied the pressure to Naboth, you know, just as how the, 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 the spirit word of darkness applied pressure to us that we can forsake our conviction. Amen. Because when God convicts you to serve him, the devil come and he apply pressure that you will forsake your conviction. Because without conviction, you cannot serve Christ. And your conviction is a part of your garden. It's something that is in your vineyard. And the devil see that you're convicted to fight and to serve God. And therefore, he say to you, I want you to give me your vineyard. But we can refuse Satan. Amen. We can refuse it. Amen. We can tell him, no, I will not give up my peace. Amen. I will not give up my joy. Hallelujah. I will not give up my thank you, Jesus. Amen. I will not give up what God has given to me. God has given to me salvation, and I'm not going to give it up. Amen. So he said to him, or it seem good to you, I will give you the word of it in money. It is our responsibility to refuse Satan. Amen. Amen. Jesus said in one word that God is a prophet of man to gain the world and lose his own soul. When the devil comes around and trying to tempt you, my God, and trying to convince you of what God has given unto you, you've got to step back and say, what does it profit me to give up what God has given to me just to get the word and money? My God, because today people in Christendom, they're forsaking their conviction. My God, they're only about making money. They're only about the word, you know, sin and shame. But when the devil comes to you and says, yes, sir, I can give you a better vineyard if he had a better one, why would he want your vineyard? So you should be wise and say, Satan, you're coming through with all these things. You're bargaining with me about you want to give me something better. If you know you got something better, what I got, why you want 
with what I got uh, because the devil has nothing better to give you. Uh, only God has what is best for you and I. And when God gives you a special inheritance, uh, it is your job to keep it safe. Uh, and when the enemy comes around to tell you that uh, I need your vineyard, uh, you're going to step back and say, uh, I doesn't promise me nothing uh, to 